Hey guys! Today's video is all about our pop-up camper and how we use our storage when we travel. We own a 2012 Jayco Dove and it is perfect for us and our family right now. So here is some footage from our very last trip that we did in December and this worked really well for us. Everything has a place that's really easy to access and it also looks really neat and tidy and organised as well. So on our little camper table we have our fruit basket and also where we store our cups. So this is for coffee or water for our toddler to grab whenever we need them. So in here we also have our DVD player for our son. We hook that up in the car or if he just needs some chill out time in the van, it's there. So we also keep our chargers in there and my GoPro stays in there as well, just so we know where everything is in that bag. So under our bench seat we have this pull up drawer which leads to another storage cupboard. This is where I have some of my bigger winter blankets for winter camping um, and my sand free beach mats and also just some towels and extra things if we're going to be packing up some wet stuff and we just keep them in there for when we need them. This is in the bottom of the bench seat so as you see when I get this doorknob out. <laughs> this is the front of the cupboard. So you'll see my sand free mat there and those are the towels I just told you about. And just extra things just to cover things that are dirty or greasy. And that is our annex floor mat. So we keep that in there as well and just other bags to put things in because you always need them. So this is another cupboard under the other seat and it is a drawer and we just use this to keep all of our annex lights and extension cords and our solid wall for our movie nights that we do and we also keep our projector and all of our cable-y plug-in stuff in here. So this is the projector and that's what we use to watch our movies. essential oil station so I've got my oils in the bag here which have rollers and made up blends for what we need when we're away as well as oils that will help keep bugs out of our van and help with sleep and everything so this is where we keep it we just keep it on top of the bench so then it's all together and it looks nice moving on to these drawers these are so good these have really changed my life when it comes to storing food um, I have used them when we did a little weekend trip. We've had one box each full of our clothes. So one for my husband, one for myself and one for my son. And it worked really well. But this time I used it for food because we had a longer stay and it, we just got to fill so much more in there. So this is how I store all my food and it's just so handy. So we have one set of drawers on that side on the kitchen side and then on the other side of the bed we also have another one and this is more of like holding all of our makeup and first aid kits and my little stationery drawer because as you'll see in a moment I have a memory book so I need like pencil case and sticky tape for that. Um, we also have games in there and my diffuser bag as well. In this one is my hairdryer and my straightener and just little bits and bobs so you can see some fishing hooks because of course and um, just some tablecloths and stuff like that. And this one is our condiment drawer so like your olive oil, all of your steak seasoning and salt and peppers, bone broth, all the cooking stuff, coffee pods as well. <laughs> And then in this bottom one is basically our shower one. So it's got my little shower bag in there, my beach hair, 
Um, yeah, they're really handy and they've really changed the way we store things, so highly recommend. And here I have my mirror on top. Just, I like to do my makeup in my own van. I don't know, it's just what I like to do. And on the top of that one as well, I store my little vitamin bag. So in here we have all of our supplements. So my toddler's chewable tablets um, and our vitamins as well. I always make sure I pack vitamins because if I don't take them, I start to feel horrible. So with these little pouches, I can carry them with us and it's easy. I also have in here my hand sanitizer. If you go into the bathroom or whatever, we have bug spray. I have hand wash. I do not use anybody else's hand wash because it dries out my skin. So we also bring Snoop's healing oil with us as well. It's got helichrysum in it and he has a cancer tumor and it often bleeds. So we use that to close it up. So here is the memory book that I was telling you about. So I use my Polaroid camera, so we bring that in the stationery box and we take pictures throughout the trip and stick them into our memory book and that just allows us to look back on all the trips we've had, write in some key memories that we have had and it's a good little reminisce. So yeah, these are our previous ones. There's still a lot of blank pages, so my aim for this trip is just to take a moment and fill them out so we don't forget. Over to the opposite side of the kitchen, we have the air fryer, the coffee machine and a Dyson fan slash heater. And in the cupboard underneath those, we have all of our plates, cups and bowls and stuff like that so I've got everything's plastic a little bit of glass um, now that I know that things aren't moving <laughs> but I wanted to show you my little space saving hack it is little magazine files from Kmart and you store all your plates in them it's so good so on the second bottom shelf we have like condiments um, like teas coffees um, I've got some washing powder in this white bucket and some sugar and stuff like that. Milo, that's where we keep all of that. And just little random bits and pieces in little boxes. I love how organised you can make a camper. This next cupboard is quite a big cupboard, but the downfall is it has part of the wheel arch in it. But it kind of works out because I've got my pots and pans in here and they stay nice and safe. So in this box I have um, like a colander, I've got all my lids and some small pots in there. I also have some fry pans leaning up against the wheel arch, chopping boards, other containers um, and some fairy lights which I was meant to put up while we were away. <laughs> I feel like I could play around with that cupboard a little bit more. This next cupboard is a little bit tricky. It's a corner cupboard. Um, so we have our toaster, kettle, that black box that you see down the corner is full of board games and just little miscellaneous things. Um, I also have some extra cutlery that we may need but don't need often. A light. This is where I store my coffee machine and the Dyson fan and a little bit of Thermomix stuff in there as well. Um, and yeah, it does work. There's a little hidey hole in here behind the fridge. This is where I keep some like trays um, and a little beach tray with legs. Um, the perfect fit for them, otherwise it really has no purpose. Moving over to the fridge now. So we're away for eight days, so it is pretty jam-packed in here at the moment, but I've got my bread in there because it has no preservatives, so it does go green really quick. Um, cheeses, sauces, cut lemon, some fruit and veg in there. My favourite little hack is my after sun spray with peppermint and lavender in it. And keeping it cold is so good when you have sunburn. Milk, water and a whole heap of veggies in there. 
pretty standard fridge really so there's not much to show moving on to this silly little cupboard this thing annoys the crap out of me what is the purpose of having that small drawer <laughs> but this is where we just keep little random junk bits and pieces that we grab often not really often so it's kind of a waste drawer but it's all good So here we have our standard cutlery drawer, nothing amazing, just your spoons, forks, knives, um, magic peelers, cheese knives, scissors, you know, how it is. <laughs> and in this drawer underneath, this is quite big as well, this is where I keep all of my kitchen items, so I store my dishwashing liquid in here, sponges, tea towels, bin bags, ziplock bags, pancake mix apparently and like kebabs and stuff that you use in your kitchen so again i could probably utilize a bit more in there as well and then this cupboard is a little bit junky if i'm being honest so i have a fly swat hanging here we've got our roasting tongs and a torch paper towel because we use a lot of paper towel um, and I have my little magazine file hack here as well, holding all of the cloud wrap and our foil and stuff like that. And then some spare on guard cleaner concentrate as well. Moving up to the sink. So here we have this amazing, amazing foldable dish rack. This is my new favorite. So. I love how you can fold it down for storage but what I love about it is you can actually put all of your dishes in it and take it over to the camp kitchen where you've got a bit more room and you can wash all of your dishes and carry it back and it fits perfectly in your sink look at that so I use doTERRA's on guard cleaner concentrate and that doubles as my dishwashing liquid as well so it's great to have on board okay so now we're venturing outside and this is completely new to us because we've never put the annex up on any of our trips because we've just done weekend trips so this is what it looks like with the annex up this is what we were kind of playing around with but on our trestle table, we have the Thermomix in its bag. We have our alcohol, obviously easy to reach, and our water station as well. So we take our rainwater in a big tank with us, so we're drinking, you know, decent quality water. But this came to me in like a little vision, this little setup. So this is how we store our clothes. So I get two boxes, of course. But you basically just Marie Kondo your clothes in there and it actually holds so much. So there is eight days worth of outfits in there and it just works so well. This is my son's, so all of his little toddler clothes and then my husband's at the top as well. But how neat and tidy does it look? And it's so stylish and practical. It was so good. So here we have our, our angle fridge and it's just sitting on a fridge stand just to give it that little bit more height and it's great. Under the table we stored all of our beach stuff in that pink bag, our Weber, our little barbecue, our pantry that we didn't actually end up setting up and a gas bottle. So it seemed to work. What do you guys think? Around the corner we have our little washing line as well. So that is the end of our little camper storage tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope that you got some tips and tricks from this video as well. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out my other playlist of all of the pop-up Pusey stuff and I hope you guys have a beautiful day. See ya!